Hello Cancer, this is your weekly reading for love. It's timeless. I don't time stamp and these readings are predictive. Send me a love from Chicago. Tell me where you're viewing the video from I would like to hear. Cancer, Spirit is calling on you to keep the faith right now. You're in a period of time when you feel really, really vulnerable, just almost like at night you go to sleep and you you hold your heart you know you're just you're really struggling to keep the faith at this moment so you know it is typical we are in winter time right now and we are in capricorn season which i think is tends to be a little more challenging than some other seasons so what do we have we have change it's time for change cancer it is time for a change so that you can have faith in love, in life. So you're going to need to make some changes for yourself. Spirit is giving that message. The moon card, though, is your card. I mean, that, that's a big moon. You're really in your feels right now. The path. Okay, so you're going to change your path. The Spirit is recommending that you absolutely change the path that you're on that whatever you've been doing spirit is calling it you calling you at this time to really follow your intuition to climb the ladder into a new existence to plan that for yourself so let's see what the energy is between you and a person of interest i do read this like a love reading but it could be any relationship it's a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. Can't, will not. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours, leave the rest. And I do personal readings. All the information is in the description box below, my friends. So glad to have you here. In the recent past, you and a lover have had some sort of disagreement, some sort of argument, some sharp words were spoken. It's a feeling of vulnerability. You feel as though this person cut you to the core. I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck. We have two of cups. Okay, I like that. The two of cups as your overall energy for the reading is quite good. Cancer, that's your energy. You know who you love. You know who your person is. But spirit is calling on you to make some changes about your life path. So let's see what we have here, Cancer. The mutual energy currently between you and your person is Five of Wands. Five of Wands is competitive type arguing. It's not the arguing where, you know, you would do with a strain, something you would deal with with a stranger where you'd feel really in danger. This argument is very ego driven. This is all about I want this, you want that, you know, you don't want what I want, we're not on the same page. It is still within the parameters of loving energy because it tends to be with people that, you know, care about you. This is kind of like the grudge match that friends have every year on a certain date. Oh, let's go out and play rugby or football or basketball or, you know, let's, and it tends to be very masculine. It's very Leo. It's Leo energy. It's ego driven. So it can be fun, but in this particular instance, it looks like you're in a situation where somebody has a big ego. We see that your person is in this energy of, this also means you have competition. Okay, so it does mean you have competition. That's how you're feeling. That's the situation that you find yourself in. The Ten of Coins speaks to the fact that your person sees their goal in this, you know, the way they see a relationship, at least for themselves, is that they're in a situation that they seem to be content. We get the Ten of Coins. We get somebody who has a lot of abundance. How they view you as absolutely somebody that they would like to share passion with. Interesting dynamic, because it looks like your person, Cancer, could be searching for someone but they haven't settled yet because we've got that five of wands energy. They do see you as a person that they love to have passion with. They do care about you. We have in their heart space, we have very egocentric Leo energy. Somebody who is sort of going for the gold. I want the best of the best. I want the toast of the town. I want to drive the fast cars. You know, I want to look good. I want to be out there. You know, it's sort of, I always think of John Travolta in Staying Alive, that dance, you know, that, that energy. 
Let's see how they view the situation with you going forward. Oh, very nice. Oh, good, good, good. Temperance card. If you've been in separation, this is a card of reconciliation. So your person is looking at you now with all of these cards out. They're looking at you as a potential long-term partner. But this low-level fighting that's going on currently is going to have to stop. Okay, so what do we have here in terms of your mutual energy with this person? Devil card. Yeah, see, both of you are, you're in an unhealthy situation with one another. The devil card is Capricorn energy, and it basically is one person wants to be in control. They want to have all the say. They're driving the relationship. I feel for you, Cancer, it's your other per, your, the other party. I don't think it's you. I'm feeling very much. But it's a toxic situation. It feels toxic to you because toxic situations are painful. We see that Spirit's recommendation or advice for you is to take time and search for answers. You know, to do some soul searching. Is this a path you want to be on? Let's see what we have for your outcome short term. These readings tend to be more predictive than current, okay? I am a professional reader. I'm not really, I like to pick up the current energy because we need to have a frame of reference. But these tend to happen in the future. They're not meant to predict the past, although they can. So we have the four of coins. So the outcome card is that your person is not letting you go. They're just not giving you much. This energy between the two of you is very tight. It's very, uh, it's, it's almost like miserly. It's like, I'm going to hold on, but I'm not going to give too much. I'm going to hold back. But I like that better than this energy up here. So whatever happened in the past, whatever you're struggling with, it does seem to be improving. So let's go and see now. What do we have here? We have, we're going to clarify the faith card. Tell us about that faith card, Spirit, please. Tell us about faith. The Ace of Coins. You have a new beginning coming that's going to help you uh, feel better about your life. It could be a financial new beginning, but it can also be the new beginning in this relationship. The change. What is the big change that's going to take place with our Cancerian friends? The Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor. Oh my God, Cancer. You've been waiting for this for a long time. So I like that. Hop on, hop off the Wheel of Fortune. The planet Jupiter is going to be the planet that comes in and helps you. It is in Pisces right now. If you're dealing with a Pisces or you are a Pisces, it's going to be very helpful because Jupiter represents Sagittarius, which is a Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we also have the path. Spirit is advising you that you change your path and you change the way in which, you know, you face the world. You know, it says you need to climb up and, and require more, actually, in your connections. We get the Page of Pentacles. Okay, taking time to study, taking time to look at it, think about it, plan it. And Four of Wands is going to be your outcome. If you're able to really change your path and to really change the dynamic in this relationship, you do have a shot at that Four of Wands, which is Twin Flame energy. It's also 1111, you know, which is Twin Flame. But it is a bride and groom dancing underneath a garland. So a different path, a different way, a different way of operating. But it, you're going to have to initiate the change here, Cancer. I see this is within your power. So let's look and see what we have. The words that were spoken, harsh, very harsh in the past. Something was said. I call this runs with scissors because I never see, I've never heard of the Knight of Swords being typically all that nice. You're running with a sword in your hand, you know. So anyway, not you, but whoever is in that energy, but both of you. Your person did it to you is how I'm feeling. The Tower card, it came out of the blue. So this energy with this person is that the Heart of Pentacles, so Queen of Pentacles is a mommy card, is a card. So your person in essence told you they broke up with you because they had a new relationship, a new beginning in a relationship, okay? So that's the energy that I get there, one or the other. Either you told them or they told you, 
Okay, the Five of Wands, the current situation. What is going on in this relationship that is causing there to be competition, Spirit? Please clarify the competition. What does that actually mean right now? We get Innocence of Pentacles. So it does look like right now it's pretty tame. I don't see a lot going on in that regard. But it does look like the person that you care about is interested in somebody who's single. The strength card is there. Now, it does show that the competition has some strength. That's what I'm seeing. That, and I'm not really fond of this for you because it speaks to the fact, well, it's good for you, but I don't think you're going to interpret it that way. The reason is, is that their effort towards you is very small, okay? They're just going to say, hey, you want to go have coffee? Something very simple, something very you know, not so satisfying to you, but we do see that you are coming in here and with a very strong presentation of being the person that would win the, the, the challenge here, so to speak, the competition, so to speak, that you hands down are likely to be that person who can win that. So the Ten of Coins is Virgo energy. It's your person does very well for themselves. They want to also be with somebody of prosperity. That's how they view their goals. They want someone who, you know, and I get that not changing. So when we get that, that Ten of Pentacles, your person's sort of stuck on that energy of wanting an abundant marriage, Seven of Cups. It's a fantasy, though. This does not show as being something that they're going to necessarily see. Oh, God, movement of swords. So this is a Knight of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords bookending this relationship. So your person, I don't see you in devil energy. I see them. We get somebody who is sort of hell-bent. You know, they're making an intellectual decision that isn't based on reality. The Two of Swords, they don't want to really... It's almost like them deciding, I don't care if I'm happy. I just want to be with somebody who brings a lot to the table. So... You know, there are people like that, you know, people who marry for money or prestige or whatever it is. But that looks like they're very stuck on stupid, I would say, because that's not a spiritual path. That's not going to render anything good. So I would just really recommend what Spirit's recommending. Take it, take time for yourself to evaluate this person's morals, their, their thought processes. Is this person compatible with you is what I'm seeing is the message here. The Heart of Cups energy, they do see you. There you are, the Queen of Cups. There you are in your reading. Ten of Cups, They this person loves you. Pisces energy, happily ever after. They love you, but they're in this nonsensical energy up here of, well, I have to have this and this and this. And you know, we all know, we all know people who are like that. And usually they're not your friends, Cancer, because you don't operate like that. So your person really loves you, no doubt about it. That's how they view you. They view you as a person who is wounded, who is very loving, who is committed to them, who they think you, they think of you as marriage material. Will of Fortune, your person just wants to, you know, I'm going to say it rather bluntly, but right now they need to change because this Wheel of Fortune is, oh, I'll just take my chances. You know, it's like out there just, okay, I'll hop on and I'll hop off the wheel and, you know, easy come, easy go. So your person is not in an energy. Well, here we go, though. Two of Cups. As soon as I... The weird thing about this is that your person appears to be really stuck on stupid. And I, I don't... I don't like to use that term, but what I'm talking about is that no matter how they feel in their heart space, they're really not manifesting that they don't seem to have an appreciation for the love they seem to have an appreciation for a set of circumstances or you know what they want has nothing to do with their heart space so you know they want x y and z but you know at the end of the day this person really loves you loves you loves you and yet they seem to be holding back so they seem to want this sort of whimsical, fantastical mirage or fantasy that they think that they're, you know, that they just want it. 
Spirit of Pentacles. So your person is coming back more grounded. So we get the Spirit of Pentacles. It's Taurus energy. So your person is becoming more grounded. We do see them wanting to come back to you. We see them in the energy of wanting to nurture the relationship more. We get the Spirit of Wands again. So your person still likes a lot of attention, whatever that is. You know, when I think of the spirit of wands or, you know, that fiery spirit, I dated a Leo many years ago, and he liked his red car, you know, he got a red Cadillac, and he just loved that, and uh, he said, well, you know, I'm going through a midlife crisis, so it was comical, it was cute, it didn't have any impact, negative or positive on a relationship, but he was happy, he was fun. All right, so, devil energy. Four of Cups. Your person gets bored. Your person is, that's, that's not you, Cancer. That's your card. You're really tired of this person's control. You're tired of it's their way or the highway because that's what the devil is. Well, you know, I'm going to be totally in control and I'm going to manipulate this and it's only going to look like it's, it's not a manipulation. But Four of Cups says you're really tired. Nine of Wands says you're tired. Eight of Cups says that you're about to walk away. Movement of Wands. So right now the hidden energy is that there's nothing stable coming, okay? So we get the Knight of Wands. So we get some player energy, somebody who's all interested in the, the passion at the moment, but not really doing anything with it. That I don't believe that's your energy. There's a lot of love here, so... You know, it's it's almost inexplicable, but people make all kinds of choices. The Hermit card, what do we have? The Five of Cups. Somebody owes you an apology. Spirit is saying that you need to stay away from this person unless they can come forward, come to you the right way. Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins was up here. Your person has everything they need to come to you the correct way. Spirit is recommending that you are the Empress, that you deserve to have what you deserve to have. Tell us one more thing about this spirit, Three of Cups. This person may be better as just a friend, Cancer. You know, somebody that you, you buy time with, but not somebody that you choose. You know, the chemistry is off the charts. The love is very real, but spirit is really saying you need to hold back with this Four of Coins. That you need not to, you need to, you know, enjoy the moment. We're seeing eat, drink, be merry, have fun. You know, we're seeing, though, that if you give to this relationship as a queen of wands, um, you know, keep your head. Keep your head high. The heart of swords. Be Judge Judy. If you don't know Judge Judy in American culture, she's a real tough judge that wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We're getting the star card. You have to hold your own. You can't really, what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is that, let's see what the advice is. I always like to give advice here because, I, you know, you're in a situation that's, you, what could you do? You can't ever really make somebody do or say something or act in a way. You can't do it. You, they have to do it on their own. So Spirit is telling you that this person needs to come to you and they need to apologize. They need to make a love offering. The Magician card says that you need to hold still and let them do it. Judge them according to their performance or their ability to manifest. Two of Swords, otherwise ignore them. So that is your advice for right now, Cancer. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from.